What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, we're talking about one of my favorite techniques to catch them this time of the year, the free rig. This little guy right here, this rig has uh, gained a ton of momentum through the last a uh, few years, couple to a few years. Uh, for me, more importantly, the last year, year and a half, uh, I've spent a lot of time throwing different variations of the free rig and uh, just experimenting with baits and setups and uh, all that good stuff and uh, just gained a ton of confidence, like I said, within the last couple years on that setup. So let, I guess first we should talk about what the actual rig is. What is it? So. You take your uh, favorite drop shot weight that has a solid line tie, not a crimp, but a solid line tie that you can run your line through, okay? You take your favorite EWG style hook or straight shake hook and you tie it on. Then you take your favorite soft plastic in this case, I have about five or six of them for you. But why does this thing work so well? It's because the weight is free. Hence the name, the free rig. This guy right here, that's that G crack. That's the uh, Bellow Shad right there. We're gonna talk about baits here in a second. But uh, having the versatility, having the uh, weedless ability but having the free fall with this type of technique is what makes this thing magical and what makes it uh, really special this time of the year. As we start heading into those spring months, those warmer months, those fish start going back into the shallows, right? They start getting into that heavy cover, those brush piles, those lay downs, those stumps, right? So having a bait that you can flip and pitch around still build, be weedless, but have a completely different action than say a finesse jig or a power shot, something like that. You know, having the bait be free, kind of glide down, have directional changes uh, and be fairly weightless is what makes this thing really shine. And it's what's so special about it, why it shines so well this time of the year. So again, the free rig, okay? And those of you guys, if you want, you could put a bobber stop up here. That way you can actually limit the distance, the travel that that weight has. I don't necessarily do it because I like, especially fish in deep water, 15, 20 foot, throwing this thing out there, throwing this thing out there and letting that weight fall. So that weight is drop into the bottom, but because it's free, it drops to the bottom. Now you have eight or 10 foot of line and that bait is just slowly gliding down. It's an action, it's a presentation that this these fish haven't seen a lot of and what makes it so special. So again, that is the free rig. It can be fished on your favorite finesse rods or your favorite uh, jig rod, right? So I like to fish it both ways. Right here, we got a little spinning rod. We got a little 3 16 ounce weight paired to a, that's a one aught cover shot HD straight shank hook. That's a little X zone uh, adrenaline crawl. That's the little 3.5 inch bait, okay? Again, you could take your favorite finesse setup, the rod that you drop shot on, the rod that you shaky head on, and fish the free rig. Again, you're you're presenting the bait in a way that a lot of the fish haven't seen. Again, just having it's why it's in my opinion, it's what makes the the like the the Yamamoto the Senko so special, right? It's just that real subtle fall. There's no weight to it. It kind of does that shimmy. Same thing with the free rig. Depending on the baits you throw, you can get different actions, but they're basically weightless. And then if you do want to 
pick up the bait and, and feel where you're at. You pull that slack up, that weight slides down to the head where you've tied on the hook, and now you're connected to that bait. If you drop your rod tip, now that bait, that weight drops and that bait starts that slow, subtle fall again. So I like to fish them fairly quickly this time of the year because the drop, the fall, is what makes this presentation so special. So fire this thing out, give me some slack, let that weight fall. And again, a lot of the times you get bit on this rig, it's uh, on, the, on the fall, okay? It's not... It's not when you're fishing it like a, a, a Texas rig or a Carolina rig, right? So that's what makes it different. So lift, let it fall. And what that bait's doing, depending on the, just got bit, depending on the style of bait, you know, we have some with some real subtle kicks. We have some that have some real uh, subtle shimmies. We have some fluke style baits, but all of them are going to kind of swim down. They're going to have some kind of action on that weightless free fall again lift that rod tip what that bait's doing it's that weight slides down to the head of the hook it's coming up you drop it that weight falls and now that bait's just sw swim either swimming kicking down if you have some kind of uh kicker style bait or if you have more of a gliding style bait it kind of drops and does that spiral or does those directional changes and nine times out of ten that's when you get bit okay so that is the free rig that's basically how you fish it but again, this time of the year, tons of laydowns, tons of stumps, shallow cover. And that's why I like going with more of the bait caster. You know, you guys that like to flip and pitch like a half ounce uh, jig, like a pitching jig or, or some kind of uh, arky style head jig, this setup will work too. This is actually an eighth ounce weight. What's so cool about this technique is, you know, you could throw a an eighth ounce head on there. You could throw a three sixteenths. You can make it super universal to adjust to the depth that you're fishing, how quickly you want that bait to fall. But this thing is super easy to flip and pitch around cover. And even though that weight has hit bottom already, that bait is still falling. Okay. And this having that uh, bellows shad, this thing has a real subtle, tail kick and even when you're reeling up the slack and that weight of the the weight is on the head of the bait itself you're still getting that swimming action okay so it's it's tight you're reeling up you drop your rod tip right that drops down and now you have this to swim down so it's kind of confusing some people are like well, why don't you just throw a carolina rig it's a completely different fall right uh you fish it kind of differently you're not really dragging it like you would uh, a Carolina rig and then as far as a uh, like a Texas rig it just has that uh, more versatility because that weight can travel so much quicker uh, like that drop stop you know that that cylinder style drop shot weight than you know your Texas rig weight so again you can add if you don't want all that play you can add a bobber stop you know 18 inches two feet up above your your hook and then it kind of does limit that range and make it more like a Carolina rig. But for me, having all that travel and having that weight hit 10 or eight or 10 feet before that, uh, that bait in deep water allows that thing to really glide and shine and produce bites. And then on the flip side, when you're flipping and pitching around heavy cover, having that weight hit around that stump and now having that bait kind of glide down subtly, a lot like a, a weightless Senko, that's what's killer about this style of bait. But you're getting, you're basically getting that Senko style of fall out of baits and profiles that typically wouldn't do that, okay? So that is the free rig. Now, again, why is it so special this time of the year? For me, it's because those fish are going shallow. I explained you could fish it deep. It works really well for me in the fall, summertime in the fall. Uh, but this time of the year, as those fish are moving shallow, they're, they're prepping for the spawn or they're coming back out off the spawn. They're in that post-spawn stage. Uh, those fish use those hard pieces of cover to sit on. Sit, okay, so you can flip and pitch this thing around just like you would a shaky head or a jig 
but you have that completely different action. A lot of guys catch a ton of fish flipping and pitching a weightless Senko. This is the same type of thing. You can just fish it fairly quicker and uh, a lot quicker and you get a same, that fairly that same type of action out of the bait, okay? Now, like I said, all you need is that cylinder style drop shot weight. Again, I'll link all this stuff down below in the video description. And then depending on the bait, this guy right here, that's a 4 aught EWG. Uh, if you're fishing some kind of smaller bait, I really like those straight shank hooks. But again, I'll link that stuff down below in the video description based on the different baits that I talk about, okay? So again, this thing can be fished finesse. It could be fished, uh, whew, getting windy. It can be fished on your heaviest jig rod, right? All depends on the weight that you're putting on and the bait that you're uh, that you're throwing. Now, <clears throat> I've, ta I've talked to a lot of guys that really love this technique. For the most part, they will focus on either worms or flukes or some kind of uh, a bait that has kind of a flatter side to it. So more of a flatter belly to really cup that water and really slow that fall. A lot of guys won't talk about actually having some kind of motion, but this adrenaline cross specifically, I can't tell you how many fish my, my kids and I caught uh, on this bait this last summer, right? Flipping in and around uh, brush piles, okay? Having the, these little, it's real, it's not a super wide kick. It's a super tight kind of subtle kick. So there's not a ton of resistance on the fall. Again, when you drop that rod tip, that weight's going down. If you have a, a big paddle or a big kick and crawl in there, it's really going to slow that fall. And uh, to be honest, some of those real big craws won't even kick on the fall. But having this real tight action, this little thing swims down. It looks so good. It, it drops down. Having those little kickers kind of keeps it going straight. So it doesn't necessarily glide like you want in some of these other baits. But again, I've caught so many fish on this setup right here. Uh, that little 3.5 adrenaline crawl, especially or specifically that green pumpkin with blue flake. That is, that was the money for me all last summer. Okay. So styles of baits, like I said, you want some kind of a uh, bait that typically has more of a glide to it, right? Again, as you drop that rod tip and that weight comes down, you have that slack in your line and you want that bait doing your directional changes, doing uh, subtle shimmies as it falls. You don't want that thing falling straight like a rock, like a bullet, right? Okay. All right. So we talked about that guy. That is an awesome, awesome bait. That is my only bait that actually has some kick to it, right? Again, you want this thing to kind of glide down and when you have the, the subtle kick, it keeps that bait straight. But even though it's going straight, it has that subtle kick, uh, the fish still eat it. Another bait that I really like to throw this time of the year, well, all these baits this time of the year, but again, around and through cover is this guy right here. That's the Missile Baits Baby Destroyer. It's a creature style bait, it has a lot of appendages, a lot of subtle movement. These long appendages right here, kind of like curly cue in the water. But again, having that flatter belly or that flatter side lets this thing fall slower and kind of gets this thing off that straight path to the bottom, lets it glide. And then having these little appendages, having all that secondary movement, this thing is a killer uh, free rig. I mean, it's a killer Texas rig bait. Works great, it great, works great on shaky head, uh, Texas rig, but I love throwing it on the free rig. And then I'll throw its big brother too, the actual destroyer, not the baby destroyer, on the full size setup bait caster. Uh, now getting into the baits that have less action. Uh, this guy right here, I'd say probably one of the most famous baits for this technique is the OSP, the, the Doe Live Beaver. Um, that, that is what, for me, what brought a ton of uh, confidence to this technique. And there's some baits on the market that uh, are kind of in that category. We talked about that destroyer. This guy right here is the Bronco Bug. Okay, kind of has real big paddles, but they're not, they're, they're, um, 
they're horizontal in the water, right? They're not really gonna kick. They just stay straight, a lot of dead action, but you have that craw profile. That thing works really good. Again, that's that crushity, that's that Bronco bug. That's a full size bait, another bait for you to flip and pitch around heavy cover. I'm talking 15, 17, 20 pound uh, test, either braided line to liter or straight fluorocarbon, but flipping and pitching, you know, these styles of baits on that free rig works magic. Again, the same baits that you like throwing on your Texas rig or uh, your light Carolina rig will typically work extremely well for the free rig. Okay, and then um, two more for you. For whatever reason, a fluke style bait, again, has kind of that flatter belly to it. Uh, it kind of has that really off, it just has directional changes, kind of that subtle glide changes direction, but a bait fish colored fluke works extremely well on the free rig. Again, as you drop that rod tip and that weight crashes, now this thing is basically uh, weightless. Besides the weight of the hook, you know, you can play around with like a, a 2X or, you know, heavier wire hook to get yourself a little bit quicker fall. But if you want like a lighter fall or a slower fall, go with a lighter wire hook. But that, that fluke, as that rod drops, that weight drops, now this thing is just down there, just doing its little shimmy, it's little little swim, and we all know that bait, bait fish are up shallow and getting destroyed this time of the year by big bass. So that, that fluke right there, or a fluke style bait, works really, really well on the free rig as well. And then last but not least, I talked about already, the G-Crack, uh, the Bellows Gill, a little bit wider of a profile, and the Bellows Shad. These are both really cool baits. They come in 2.8, 3.8, uh, 4.85, they come in some giant size uh, panfish, baitfish styles. Uh, but throwing this on that free rig, again, lets that, lets that bait, give me some slack, lets that weight drop, right? Drops the bottom. And now you have four or five feet for this thing to just uh, do its little shimmy. The little uh, ribs on this guy has a ton of little vibrations, a little bit of movement, and then having that real flat belly lets this thing glide, and then having that little guy right there has that uh, little tail kick, but this thing works awesome. So if you're around fisheries, or you're fishing fisheries that have a ton of panfish or bluegill, that is the main forage. Throwing, throwing that bellows gill in like the bigger sizes. I have the smaller size here. I like to throw that on, on the finesse technique. Uh, basically electric shads, a good color, um, green pumpkin, you know, more of like your, your bluegill colors or your shad colors. But if you want, you can get this thing in like the 4.8 or the 5.8 and flip and pitch this around boat docks. It mimics or it has the profile of a big dying bluegill and it gets crushed. And then again, that shad has that more of that tapered body. And uh, if you're on fisheries where they're chasing uh, thread fins, that thing is a must. But guys, this time of the year, the free rig for me is a confidence bait. I have so much confidence in it, just as much as like a shaky head or a power shot. It's a, it's a technique that uh, allows you to fish fast if you want to, keep, keep good contact with that bait, keep that, that line tight, keep that weight against the head, and you, will have, you can fish it just like your favorite shaky head. But if you drop that rod tip, give it some slack, let that weight hit the bottom, now you have some, some line and some room to play with and let that subtle fall, let that subtle glide uh, catch you more fish. Guys, the free rig is an awesome technique. A lot of guys uh, throwing it the last couple years, having a ton of success, and I am one of them. I love the free rig, my kids love the free rig. If you're an angler that hasn't tried this technique and you're fishing around cover, you don't or you can't have an exposed hook and you need to be weedless, next time you're out, Try taking your favorite drop shot weight, your favorite worm hook, and your favorite trailer, jig trailer or fluke or uh, creature style bait. Tie yourself up a free rig and you guys will catch more fish. Guys, I will link all these products, favorite colors, hook sizes, all that sort of stuff down below in the video description, uh, just like we always do. If you guys like this video, 
hit that thumbs up button. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys on the next video.